Hey, what's going on everybody? So another quick video here I wanted to share with you on how to flash your Windows computer BIOS. And I am using a Windows Vista computer here. This is a compact Presario laptop that I'm going to show you how to flash the BIOS on. Make sure you guys have your laptop plugged in if you're using a laptop. Um, you just want to make sure you do not lose power or you're not just running on the battery so it ends up dying in the middle of the flash which could really mess your computer up. So what you want to do is go get your BIOS, your latest BIOS download from your manufacturer. So this is a compact uh, laptop. So I'm going to go to compact support and it'll probably end up pushing me over as it did before to HP's website. So you, you want to go to your manufacturer's website here and I'm going to choose for this one. Um, let me zoom in here. I'm going to choose software and drivers and then I'm gonna paste in that is my model number <clears throat> that I pasted in there for my the particular laptop that I'm using right now so I'm just gonna go ahead and click click next and then it's of course I'm over here to HP's website now and that is my exact model. You want to be really careful when you're doing this. Make sure you have everything exact. Come down here, select and confirm your operating system. I know that I'm running Windows Vista, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then what happens is you end up over here with a list of drivers. So we are looking for the BIOS driver, which is right there. And I am going to download that use HP download install system I think I will select download only and then click next so there is the file down here in the lower left corner downloading and once that's downloaded that is going to go into I'll just click show folder here so there is the download of my latest version BIOS here. Again, before you install or you try something like this, make sure you know exactly what you're doing and what version exactly um, your operating system you're running and all that good stuff. So what I'm going to do now is close out of that stuff and the download is right there. I'm going to go ahead and double click that download. Now let's see what it says here. Title WinFlash for HP Notebook. Let's just take a look here a little closer. So it says WinFlash for HP notebooks. Okay. And I know this is a little bit of an older uh, laptop, but I'm going to go ahead and click next. I'm going to accept. And then I am going to go ahead, click next, next again. And then here it comes up with a little pop-up here. Let's just get the camera focused here. Okay, so looks like it's going through. Okay, good, that's what we want. Compare BIOS version and date. The new BIOS is F.54, the current BIOS is F.31. So you can see the dates here this computer is definitely in need of uh, the flash to the the newer version of BIOS here so I'm gonna go ahead and select yes flash new BIOS so at this point you want to just the computer is gonna do whatever it's gonna do you just you want to leave it turned on when flashing the uh, BIOS like this so I will just set the camera here as you can see, it's going to go through a few different things there. Programming block. The worst thing that could happen right now would be a power outage. And I probably wouldn't try this during like a thunderstorm. Because what can happen is you can end up um, bricking so-called you know bricking your computer <laughs> and you wouldn't want to do that so so
so it is flashing the BIOS and erasing blocks, programming blocks, all that good stuff in the background. Just love it when things work automatic like this. Okay, it says it was successful, and I guess I'll just go ahead and click restart. So then it's just going to reboot my computer now. That's nice when it downloads a, a .exe file which is executable from the des desktop, then I can just click that and flash the BIOS. It is important to flash your BIOS because it has a lot to do with how your system operates. Um, it can also correct a lot of issues you may be having with hardware. So it's good to keep it up to date. And I'll just power back on my computer now. Sometimes they will just shut off and you'll have to restart them or they'll restart on their own. So hopefully if everything went okay, I should be able to boot right back up here to the desktop with no issues. And that's pretty much all I have for you guys. I am just going to sit here a minute and wait for this to boot back up. Oh, and then I got some more software here to install, but okay guys, so that's all I have for you. Uh, looks like everything went uh, fairly good. Now I can actually restart my computer and start repeatedly pressing F10 once I get down here past the shutting down part here and the computer starts to reboot. In order to get into my system BIOS on this particular laptop, I have to press F10 repeatedly. Why it's restarting. And I just want to take a look at the BIOS to see if it changed, like the BIOS UI changed at all. So keep pressing it repeatedly. Nope, looks the same. All right. So that's it. That is all I have for you guys. Everything is fine. The flash went okay. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, comment, and have a wonderful day. See ya.